got to get them smart. You've got to get a horse understanding how, they, how to think their way through situations and so on. And then another thing to do would be find something narrow and stop your horse in that narrow place. It could be between two trees, it could be over here with the stumps, but you wanna go into that narrow spot, face your horse, see if they can stand, and relax. And that teaches a horse to wait for you. Yep, so we have circling, and some of you are doing a great job with circling, but you can also circle and you saw, you saw what we did with the trees earlier. So that's definitely something we can do with our horses where we could kind of use the tree. And Galen, may I try your horse now? Uh, let me show you this. Now this makes folks nervous and you don't need to get nervous about this. This is one of the best little lessons you can teach your horse. You've got to get them smart. You've got to get a horse understanding how to think their way through situations. And so what I'll do is I'll maybe send a horse forward and through and then see how that tree was able to sort of help direct that horse's hind over. And then I'll, I'll do that a few times. Now this, we've already practiced this in the arena with the barrels. So what if I could send her through, move the hindquarters, now I'll step over here, send her between the tree and the obstacle, move the hindquarters, move the forehand through, maybe a little more life. Everyone gets worried, oh my horse, you're, they're okay. This is gonna teach them how to tie. This is gonna teach them how to untangle themselves. See? And then, and then good girl. And see like right here, this is tying. This is like simulating tying. Now right here, I'm saying, all right, now get out of the situation. She goes, I've got to poop. Um, <laughs> so then as you go you can start to introduce the obstacle so pretty soon compared to what she what, no, oh, 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 and she says I'll go between you but pretty soon this looks a little bit more interesting that's cool and I just leave that zone and go somewhere else and come back but you saw how I worked those trees. Now we won't, we won't wreck their trees because it's one day of this will be okay. Um, but now work the trees a little bit with your horses, all right? And you saw how I did that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta teach your horse how to, if they get into a bind, uh -huh. how to get out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But that's okay. He's, he's, he's working at it. Yeah. He's working at it. I'll, we'll, take, we'll take it. Perfect. Yeah, it's good enough yeah. for now. Well, the idea, though, of getting them to stand on it mm. is you make this a really desirable, a happy place, I call it. Yeah. We all have a happy place. Uh -huh. Well, for him, the bridge could be a happy place. Yeah. And pretty soon you can attack it from any angle. Pretty soon we could back him up onto it. Exactly. And the we way bet. horses see, mm -hmm. they use the top of their eye mm -hmm. to see down low. Oh, really? Yes. So the reason they drop their head when they're focusing their vision, it's, uh -huh. it's to smell, mm -hmm. but it's also to use the top of their eye. Mm -hmm. Now, if somebody drives in through the driveway with a truck, uh -huh. they lift their head up because yeah. they use the bottom of their eye to see things far away. But they see more, you know how like a panoramic picture mm -hmm. is so wide? Mm -hmm. So the way they see is they see more around them. Mm -hmm. Then directly in front? Yep, and we see more sharp, fine-tuned vision in front of us. Uh -huh. But because they see so far around, well, they actually see things blurry. Oh. So a horse's world is more blurry. Yeah. But you know what's interesting about when a horse, is, when the vision is blurry, mm -hmm. if the little bush moves over there, to them, it's a monster, it's a monster movement because it looks big. Mm -hmm. So they can see movement super, super clear, but they don't see depth very clear. Okay. And so what happens is when you have a, a texture, like I call it visual texture, uh -huh right? Like mm -hmm. layers, mm -hmm. like that's got texture, right. throws them off. Got the it. way they see it, it's blocky and blurry. Mm -hmm. And so they don't quite understand, like you say how deep it is or how far away it is right. or, and that's what's going on. So what we have to do is get him lowering his head, getting real forward 
and then letting him rest on things, letting him rest on the scary things. Pretty soon he's going to go rest in the water. You know, he's